Student Pets Channel Presence Meaning of Five Strange Dog Behaviors You Need to Know But before we go to the video, subscribe to our channel and leave your like, as this will help our channel grow, now stay with the video. Sudden changes in behavior are always a cause for concern, as this is how the animal communicates with its owner. If your dog is exhibiting some very strange behaviors, there is a reason for this. Some actions can be interpreted quite differently, but they are worth understanding because they can provide very valuable information about what the animal likes or dislikes, whether it feels pain or if any of its needs are not being met. Some dog behaviors may seem strange, but they are full of meaning. Dogs don't speak but they can communicate with their master in different ways. Certainly some habits are specific to each pet and are part of a unique personality, but some behaviors are common to the species. As strange as they may seem, these behaviors are distinct and understanding them means understanding the canine mentality, which greatly improves the human-canine coexistence. Here are five strange dog behaviors you should know about. Number 1. Chasing after his tail. There is no specific reason for this behavior. Among puppies, this is part of the discovery of their own body. It is as if they are saying, hey, what's that thing that follows me everywhere? The most common is the excitement that arises during play when loved ones arrive or when the guardian takes the collar and announces that it's time to explore the world. In all these cases, the pet's happiness is visible, he is happy and wants everyone to know it. It is a way of rewarding the guardians for their participation in the games. The behavior is alternated with jumping, running little, sniffing, among others. Number 2. Running after cars and motorcycles. This habit should not be encouraged for obvious reasons. The risks of accidents, including fatal ones, are very high. But many dogs have free access to the road even without supervision. Therefore, it is common for some of them to chase cars and motorcycles. The habit is most common in shepherds and shepherdesses and in mutts that have some of these breeds in their ancestry. Dogs see cars and motorcycles as stray beings, like cows, goats, and sheep that need to be brought back to safe pasture. It can be frightening to approach one of these, but the sense of guardianship and protection speaks louder, and there they go to protect the cattle and also the human family. Number 3. Rubbing yourself on the ground and on objects. This is a behavior brought from the jungle. By rubbing their bodies on the floor, walls and also furniture, Dogs transfer some substances, sweat, saliva, sebum, among others, to these items and utensils to indicate who owns the piece. Although they are historical, i.e., they live in well-organized groups, wolves do not tolerate the presence of strangers. Even in large packs, they generally do not accept outsiders, the life of a wild wolf is quite difficult. For this reason, the guardian of the pack would rub himself against tree trunks and bushes to indicate to other predators that the territory was occupied. This behavior can be observed in any dog, but is more common in dogs descended from hunters. Number 4. Riding on pads. Many people find the habit quite inappropriate and even embarrassing, especially when the dogs exchange the pillows for human legs, especially those of visitors. There is nothing sexual in the gesture, despite its appearance. The sexual desire of the dog is aroused by the pheromones of the females in the fertile period when sexual intercourse takes place, and outside of this period no form of stimulation occurs. Dogs can also mount on other dogs, and even on cats, if the latter are quiet enough to allow it. In these cases, a demonstration of subordination is taking place, the animal that mounts is checking if the other remains in a submissive position in the group. Among puppies, mounting on the cushions is most likely a joke. 
Number 5. Tilting the head. This is a gesture learned from living with humans. In fact, it is almost an imitation. Dogs have developed many skills with companionship and the head tilt is one of them. The simplest and most obvious reason is that humans like it when dogs tilt their heads. They look cute and attractive, they seem to understand conversation, they almost always get a treat or at least a treat. Dogs can sense the reaction of humans and are very good at striking a pose. They are also capable of furrowing their foreheads and muzzles, and also arching their eyebrows, to attract the attention of humans. But there is another reason, by tilting their heads, dogs are really trying to understand what we want, especially when we are talking to them. The furry ones can understand the meaning of some words, but they don't have the ability to decipher more complicated sentences and verbal constructions. So this is it, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to leave your like and follow our channel, a big hug to all.